situations that we are in this morning. And Yahweh knows what we are of need of. He knows what you're going through. Amen. We don't know what you're going through, but Yahweh knows all things. We don't write our messages down. Hallelujah. We give what is needed unto the people. Hallelujah. At this time, we have our beloved prophet Washington in the midst. At this time, let us all please stand and receive him by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, Pastor Real. Yep, we all can be seated. To thank y'all for blessing me to be here with you all this Sunday morning. And I truly thank Yahweh for the safe travels over the dangerous highways. And they are dangerous. I believe I had, um, I was probably uh, in between Cisco and Abilene and making my way here that the other day. And then an 18 wheel on the other side of the highway, you know, because it was real windy uh, that day. And I believe that the wind had uh, caused the driver to lose control. And I saw the 18 wheeler crash. And I thank Yahweh, you know. Uh, um, uh, I believe that the gentleman, or whoever was behind the wheel, was okay based on how they crashed. Amen. But I truly thank Yahweh for safe travels. You know, because, you know, when you go out there, there's many things that, that one can face. But we, we serve a God who loves us, and, and he, he watches over us. He'll be able to see the things that we, are, that we don't see, and he keeps us. And that's why it's very important that every single one of us, we walk upright. We do the right thing so that our God can truly be with us every step, every direction that we may go. Give a double honor to Apostle Washington, who we all know that he's out there in Mexico. And I should thank Yahweh for the young Sucre that has accompanied him and has been a tremendous aid until this work that's taken place. We ask everybody to continue to pray for him and those that accompany him. Give a double honor to Apostle Stanford, Apostle Hurley, amen. Apostle Flores, thank Yahweh for the evangelists and the pastors, the prophets, and teachers that we have in these last and evil days. Being blessed to have the five-fold ministry. And, uh, you know, we're not set up like other churches. Amen. And Yahweh has truly given us all that we need. Amen. 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 We don't have to have a big congregation because we, Yahweh has given us all that we need. Amen. Most churches think that church is based off the numbers uh, of people in there. Um, but we know that there will be few that will find this thing here. And so we have to count ourselves highly blessed to be numbered, that the Lord had looked down and called us out of darkness into Amen. his marvelous light. Amen. 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 To be part of this thing here. I uh, truly thank Yahweh also as far as the fellowship. Yes. Yes. Oh. I, forgot, I forgot that just for a moment. Gracias a Dios que estamos juntos. Amen. I truly thank Yahweh for the fellowship. Yo le doy gracias a Yahweh para la comunión que tenemos. Amen. That took place at the uh, Sister Buttercup and Brother Quentin's house. Que tomó uh, lugar en la casa de Buttercup. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and I truly thank Yahweh for uh, those young sisters, Sister Carmen. Y le doy gracias a Yahweh para las hermanas que fueron, hermana Carmen. Sister Jasmine. Hermana Jasmine. Sister Adali. Did I say it right? Amen. I was working on that all morning when I woke up. Thank Yahweh <laughs> that they came out. Gracias a Yahweh que vinieron. And it's truly a blessing and your mother. Y es una bendición y para mi mamá también. It's truly a blessing and an honor to have you all with us here. Es una bendición y un honor para tenerlas ustedes aquí. Amen. Um, but, you know, God is good. Dios es bueno. And that's the, the song that I sung, the first song that I sung for after the offering. La primer canción que canté después de la ofrenda. Yahweh gave me that song a long time ago, God's Love. Yahweh me dio esa canción hace mucho tiempo, El Amor de Dios. And truly, I thank Yahweh for that type of love that we have. Y yo le doy gracias a Yahweh por ese amor que tenemos. You know, the, those that call themselves to be believers. Esos es lo que se llaman de ser creadores. Everyone, they ex, uh, expound or express that God so loved the world. Todos los que expresan que Dios amó el mundo. That he gave his only begotten son. Que dio su único, unigénico hijo. Amen. That whosoever shall believe in him. De todo en el que crea en él. You shall have everlasting life. Tendrás vida eterna. 
But in here, we truly understand God's love. Pero aquí entendemos el amor de Dios. Amen. How he wants us to be. Como él quiere que seamos. You know, his love is not designed for us to take advantage of. El amor de Dios no es diseñado para que los aprovechemos de él. And even though it's strange, y aunque es raro, you know, as the song said, this type of love I just don't understand. Como la canción dice, este amor yo no lo entiendo. And time and time I try to comprehend. In other words, I try to <coughs> try to dissect it. Y tiempo y tiempo yo lo trato de entender, trato de disectarlo. Mm -hmm. But what we should do is just acknowledge that the Lord did something for us. Pero lo que tenemos que hacer es acknowledgear que Dios hizo eso por nosotros. Amen. There's a whole world. They, they try to, try to, uh, 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 try to uh, uh, explain God's love in different formats. Todo el mundo quiere uh, explicar el amor de Dios en diferentes maneras. And that's why we have so many different religions today. Y por eso tenemos muchas diferentes religiones hoy. It's as though they can serve God any type of way because of his love. Para que todos los que para que todos puedan servirlos en cualquier manera por su amor. But his love brought forth the gospel. Pero su amor trajo el uh, el el um, el evangelio. Brought forth word. His love el, brought forth word. Trajo uh, la palabra. There were Introduce a change to all men if you believe. Va a introducir el cambio en el hombre si usted cree. Okay. At this time here, I'd like to call everyone's attention to 1 John 3. Primero de Juan 3. Hallelujah. <coughs> I'm new to this form of ministry, so bear with me. Bear with me too. Amen. <laughs> you want to call it, huh? Amen. First John 3 1. Primero de Juan 3 y 1. Mm -hmm. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. Behold, um, John wants us to acknowledge what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Mirar mm -hmm. cual amor nos da el Padre para que seamos llamados hijos de Dios. And we, as a, part of the infallible true church, thank uh, Yahweh. Parte de esta iglesia, la infalible uh, verdad y la palabra de Yahweh. Amen. That Yahweh had established a man who we know, Apostle Washington. Que Yahweh estableció un hombre que se llama Apostle Washington. To cause us to acknowledge the true love of what God did for us. Para que acknowledgemos el verdadero amor que Yahweh tiene por nosotros. Amen. That love has brought many of us, if not all of us, out of our sins. Ese amor los trajo a todos o muchos de nosotros afuera de nuestro pecado. Amen. 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 And so, in this way here, you know, we come to learn that part of his love en esta manera aquí aprendemos que parte de su amor is to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Es alabar a Dios en espíritu y en la verdad. Uh, because the world, they, they, they know that God did something for them. And they have plenty of spirit. Y mucho Amen. We're not the only church that gathered this morning. No somos la única iglesia que está junto esta mañana. And many people are going into uh, their, uh, their churches, if you will. Mucha gente va a la iglesia. And they bring in a spirit, but they're lacking truth. Y traen un espíritu, pero no tiene verdad. So I think about Yeshua when he came across the Samaritan woman at the well. Yo pienso de Yeshua cuando vio la mujer samaritana in the river. At the well. Oh, in el in el pozo. Yes, you said that the hour has come and now is. En la hora que viene y ahora es. Well, the true worshiper. Then you got to ask yourself: Are you a true worshiper? El verdadero alabador. Se tiene que preguntar usted mismo. That shall worship, worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Que puede alabar a Dios en espíritu y en verdad. He said, for Yahweh seeketh such to worship him. See, that's a way that you have to worship the Lord. Porque Yahweh busca una manera que necesita adorar a Dios. Amen. So you, you can't have a form of godliness and deny the power thereof, as Apostle Paul wrote to, unto Timothy. 
No puedes negar el poder de Dios como apóstol Pablo dijo a Timoteo. But it takes a man of God to be able to point these things out so that we can learn to worship the Lord in truth. Pero uh, necesita agarrar un hombre que pueda decir la verdad y alabar a Dios en verdad. Uh, because the Lord, he said that because God is a spirit and we that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Porque Dios dijo que Dios es un espíritu y necesitamos adorarlos a él con espíritu y en verdad. So what are you saying, prophet? Entonces, ¿qué está diciendo, profeta? Are you saying that there's only one way that one can truly worship the Lord? ¿Está diciendo que solo hay una manera que puedes adorar a Dios? Yes. Sí. <laughs> there's only one way to worship the Lord. Solo hay una manera de adorar a Dios. And he's seeking for such a people that will be willing to do that. Y está buscando gente que pueda adorar así. So, behold, what manner of love? Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. Uh -huh. That we should be called the sons of God. That we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knows us not and because he, it knew him not. He's speaking to an individual type of people, a group of people. Por esto el mundo nos conoció porque no los conoce a él. Él está hablando a ciertas personas. People that is worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Gente que está adorándolo a él en espíritu y en verdad. Amen, because we can't be like how the world is, amen. No podemos how, ser como el mundo es. How they, they, they want to acknowledge God. They say that they love him, but they don't want to follow his commandments. They don't want to follow the teaching. El mundo dice que ama a Dios, pero no, puede, no quieren seguir los mandamientos que él dejó. The way you and I know anything of God is because of this here. La única manera que nosotros conocemos a Dios es por la Biblia. That way, you can't approach this thing without this here. No puedes aprobar esta cosa con aquí. Uh, the Samaritan woman, she was worshiping. La mujer samaritana, ella estaba adorando. But she knew not what she was worshiping. Pero she knew no not sabía. how she's supposed to have been worshiping. Pero ella no sabía que estaba adorando. Ella no sabía cómo adorar. And that's why I thank Yahweh for this place. Y por eso yo doy gracias a Yahweh por este lugar. Uh, because for the first time, the, you heard the gospel preach. Porque por la primera vez, usted ha... Uh, escuchó la alabanza el evangelio ser predicado and it showed us our sins y los enseñó nuestros pecados amen, amen. remember that God remember he so loved the world acuérdense que Dios amó al mundo that when he gave his son he gave his son as an example porque cuando dio su hijo dio su hijo como un ejemplo that he just did not come into the world to just die for us porque no solo vino al mundo solo a morir por nosotros. But he came into the world to show us how to be. Pero vino al mundo a enseñarlos cómo ser. To save us from the very thing that had us condemned. Para salvarlos para la única cosa que los condenó. He was that means to reconciliate us back unto the Father. Él quería reconciliarlos con su Padre. So we all are born in sin. We're shaped in iniquity. Todos estamos... Um, todos estamos nacidos en pecado, pero estamos formados en iniquidad. I mean, when your mama spit you out, you know, upon that labor day, <laughs> when your mama gave birth to you, <laughs> cuando tu madre uh, dio luz, you, was, you came into a world that was full of sin. Tú entraste en un mundo que estaba lleno de pecado. Just go out the doors, look around, see how wicked men are today. Solo salga afuera y mire el mundo que malvado está. All right, go ahead and get uh, uh, 1 Timothy 3. Timoteo 3. And this is what, what you will see out there. Y esto es lo que usted va a ver afuera. And why Yahweh had to send his son. Y por qué Yahweh tuvo que mandar a su this hijo. love that we all acknowledge, but do we truly understand it? Yes, sir, read. 2 Timothy 3. Yes, sir, read. Second Timothy 3. Amen. This know also. This know also. That in the last day. See, it's impossible. I'm sorry, sister. Go También ahead. debes saber esto. Es imposible. See, it's impossible to know these things unless it's brought to your attention. Es imposible saber estas cosas hasta que ha venido su atención. Amen. See, that's why he brought a gospel of reconciliation. Por eso él trajo un um, evangelio de reconciliación. So that we can finally acknowledge. Para que nosotros podamos uh, saber. The iniquity that our lives so filled. La iniquidad que nuestra vida sintió. So this know also. So 
this know of that in the last days. That, that in the last days. Perilous times shall come. And step outside and just look around. Perilous times. También debes saber esto, que that, en los post postreros días vendrán tiempos peligrosos. Solo ve afuera y mire toda la iniquidad que hay. Word perilous means dangerous. Amen. Amen. La palabra per, la palabra perilous. peligroso significa peligroso. to make things easier. Uh, grab her chair. That way she can sit next to her mother or switch it around. Amen. So the word perilous means dangerous. Yes, don't you acknowledge that this, don't you know that there's a bunch of danger out there? Yes. This danger that will cause mankind to not be saved. And so that's why he sent his son into the world Amen. so that he may teach us of his ways Amen. to deliver us from the thing that had us condemned. Amen. This know also. This know also. Yes, sir. In the last day. That in the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Look around. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous. Lovers of their own selves. All they care about is themselves. Yeah. I think about this generation that we in now. Amen. Especially among young people. Yeah. Selfish. Yeah. Love themselves. Want to put themselves first. Yeah. Hallelujah. No concern, no, no compassion for nothing but themselves. Amen. And the Spirit wants us to save ourselves from that. Because as long as you keep looking at your own needs, yourself, it's impossible to see the, the Messiah. Amen. And how he wants you to, to be saved. So he implemented a gospel so we can see ourselves and be freed from this bondage. Yes, sir, read it. Amen. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Uh-huh. Covetous. Covetous. Boasters. Living a time where people all, all they want is this, this straight desire. Yes. Covet your spirit, it causes them to want to rob you for what you have. Yes. Yes. When you should be content and thankful for what you do have. Yes. Amen. Instead of having a, a desire to want to know what the Lord want of them. Yes. Amen. 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 Some about that flesh, it 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 it, it, it it's all about pleasing itself. Yes. Amen. Amen. And as long as you continue to please yourself, it's impossible to please the Father. Amen. He's a jealous God. Amen. He desires you to, to have him. Amen. Yes, sir, read it. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Lovers of their own selves. Covetous. Uh-huh. Boasters. Boasters. Proud. Boasters. And they, and they proud. They are boasting the very things that they do. Yes, Amen. They are, they are, they are, they are uh, 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 live streaming. Seen a video of the day of how young people conduct themselves and pushing people down and think it's funny and, and proud to do all of that. Ain't got no shame. This is a dangerous time because Yahweh don't want you to be like that. Amen. He wants you to be just like him. That's why it's dangerous because this right here, all this stuff that caused the generation to not go towards him. You have to save yourself from this untoward generation. So there's certain things that's implemented and out there in the world that cause one, amen, to not go in the direction of God. Amen. And that's why we're few in here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. So read it. Amen. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous. Covetous. Boasters. Boasters. Proud. Proud. Blasphemers. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. Unthankful. Mm -hmm. That's what how the kids are nowadays. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, but in here, we hear the gospel preach as far as how children mm -hmm. should obey their parents and the Lord. Yes. 
You, do you see the difference? Amen. Amen. Disobedient to parents. Amen. Unthankful. Unthankful. Yeah. Unholy. It's a generation that's not thankful for nothing. Amen. They, don't, they don't appreciate Lord. nothing in their life. This is the, these are the dangerous times that we're in. Yes. And I thank Yahweh that he's delivered me from those things. Yes. And these are spirits that people have that cause them to want to behave this way. Yes. And that's why you have to come into the house of Yahweh and hear his words to be able to implement change so that he can say, behold, my son. Hallelujah. Amen. Man of love that the father had bestowed upon you. Amen. A love that, that, that wants you to acknowledge so that we shouldn't be this way no more. Amen. But you have to ask yourself a question. Do you truly love the Lord? Do you truly love him enough to be able to make a change? Hallelujah. To do what he's asking of you in these last and evil days? Yes, so read it, uh, Angelus. Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. Unthankful. Unthankful. Unholy. Unholy. Without natural and affection. unholy, unholy, uh, unholy. Mm -hmm. He said, "Be holy, for I am holy." Amen. 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 I'm saying this is where you're gonna learn to be holy. Amen. And here it teaches you how to be modest. Amen. That's part of holiness. Amen. Your speech and all manner of a conversation, as Amen. Apostle Peter said, that it should be holy. Yes, this here it teach you how to talk. Amen. 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 Holy. Without natural affection. And without natural affection. Truth, that's right. Without natural affection. Without natural affection. That's somebody that, that, that they should be showing love, but they do the opposite. Because, yes, yes. you know, it's natural for a mother to love their child. Amen. It's natural for a father to love their child. But if you, if you don't take time out to feed them and clothe them, I think of the baby few babies here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Amen. If you don't take time out to nurture them and bathe them and clean them and feed them, right. you neglect them. That's without natural affection. Amen. Amen. That's right. And the world is, is, is uh, outside of the natural affection of how God is. That's why the world is so wicked. They have no problem harming people, Hallelujah. defrauding people, Amen. misusing people. This is not the natural state of God. Amen. But the gospel, it point these things out so that we can renounce all of the other words. You put it down. Yes. Because you, you hear teaching that changes you and shows you how you should be. Yes. Without natural affection. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Truth breakers. Truth breakers. False accusers. Uh, 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 won't, won't keep their word for nothing. Yes. Uh, when the Bible said, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. See, the, the teaching gonna teach you how to walk. <laughs> how to walk worthy of that vocation. Because, you know, uh, 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 there is a way that one's supposed to walk if you say that you love God. Amen. If you say that you are a believer of God. Amen. When you say that you love God, amen, and you do the opposite of what he's sharing with you, you're a truth breaker. He said, because if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Yes, Amen. A truth breaker. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. False accusers. False accusers. Uh -huh. All right, they do anything to try to get a check. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. They allow you real quick to try to get a check. Yes. Yes, they will. Uh, in my state of business, <laughs> amen, there was a particular old uh, load rather, that we had to uh, uh, pick up. And we brought the order there to them in perfect condition. Uh -huh. Amen. And so apparently something happened from transition over there, and they had it. So they called, talking about the driver did this and did that, false accuser. Uh -huh. Well, we got pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. well, people do anything yeah. if it benefits them. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Slip in the grocery store. Slip in the grocery store. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My neck. My back, my neck, and my back. <laughs> uh, yeah, L lying on that aisle. That aisle didn't do nothing. Talking about the, the, the floor was wet. It wasn't wet. What wet you came 
It won't wait till you can. Amen. Amen. They get over there, the floor dry. <laughs> but false accusers. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Incontinent. Incontinent. Fierce. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. And see, they're going to despise. See, they'll despise us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle Paul, he once spoke, he was talking about that they can call him an evildoer. Mm -hmm. He wasn't doing nobody wrong. They just despise that which is good. So they, they see us as it being evil. They see the ways of yeah. Yahweh being evil. Yes. And all he's trying to do is just clean us up. He's trying to save us. Yes. 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 Amen. He's trying to save us from damnation. Amen. But, but you're going to have to do something in order for one to be saved. Yes. Amen. Yes. See, this, this, this world, they got it all backwards. Amen. Where they think as though as long as they believe in their heart. As long as they have some love for the Lord, yes. that they, they'll be saved. Lord, but based off the gospel that I read, amen, he said, verily, verily, this is Yahshua, the Messiah speaking. Yes. Amen. As the world may say, acknowledge as Jesus. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you. Hmm? Amen. If a, that, that, that he that, that, uh, uh, that cometh not through the door into the sheep hole, but decide to climb up another way. Another way. Another way, he's the same robber. as a thief and a robber. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. So, so you can't think that you will be saved doing what you want to do and believing how you want to believe. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Once again, we, if we know anything of the Messiah, it's because of this here. Yes, Amen. We know anything that he made one of us is because it's this thing here. It's, so you can't approach this thing any type of way. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. I'm just a read it. Despisers of those that are good. Despiser of those that are good. Traitors. Uh, they look at us. Y'all just y'all doing too much. <coughs> it don't take all of that. Yeah. Amen. On the, on the contrary, it do take all of this. Uh, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It do take all of this. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Read it. Heady. Heady. High minded. See, so you're, you're too high minded. Oh, yeah. You're too far up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when you so, so to the point where you can't receive his words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to humble yourself. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Under the mighty hand of Yahweh. Yeah. His hand is what's in control. Right. His hand is what brings salvation. Yeah. Amen. We don't have the ways of salvation. He has the ways yeah. of salvation. Amen. Yeah. How is that we can share with our own children, or friends, or whoever that they may be seeking direction somewhere? If they really want to get there, they're going to take heed to what you're saying. Amen. Well, he, he has a way to salvation. Amen. So we have to take heed to what he is sharing. Amen. I, I love Sister Misty's testimony. Amen. You can breathe now, sister. Amen. Wherever you may be. Mm -hmm. This gospel calls her to acknowledge your ways. Amen. Amen. And that, that his ways is good. Right from the beginning. Hallelujah, huh? So we have to stop uh, coming into the house of Yahweh and, and uh, uh, um, just performing and saying things, amen? amen? And start coming here and hoping that he receives. That's why I, I want to know if he's going to receive me. Remember what the matter of what the uh, Yahshua the Messiah said, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, yeah. Mm, yeah. shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that will do the will of the Father. Amen. He said, for many shall say upon that day, that, that means people that's, that's doing something. Yeah. That's that spirit again. Yeah. But, but where is the truth? Yeah. Mm. For many shall say upon that day, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied? When you say that you love the Lord, that's, that's you prophesying. Amen. Amen. In thy name, have I not cast out many devils? You, it don't even matter if you cast out devils. Amen. You know, everybody can't do that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But uh, it just goes to show that it don't matter if, the, if, if, if you can even cast out devils. 
And in thy name have I done many wonderful works. Like you just got your hand participating in everything. I, I'm their pastor. I'm their uh, teacher. I'm their evangelist. I'm their mother. Amen. But there's a reason why the Lord said that. And then will I profess unto them. He say what? And then will I profess unto them. And then I shall profess. Oh, I got something to say unto you. Yes, you that think that it's all right to do what you do yes. and think that you're going to be saved. Yes. I never knew you. That's scary. Yes. Amen. How do you mean you never knew me? I said I just prophesied in thy name. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. That's how the world is. They, they got his name on their they tongue everywhere. Oh. Yeah. At your job or when you walk by. Yeah. Amen. You hear somebody talking about thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, but then you look at them, ain't no truth in them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. At all, ain't no truth in them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, huh? But he said, I shall profess unto them. I never knew you. See, that's why I had to change. Amen. Amen. I, I, I had to be just like the man of God said. He said, I shall take heed to my ways. You have to take heed to your ways, huh? Huh? Because your ways are full of wickedness. Huh? The man of God says, seek the Lord while he may be found. And let the wicked forsake his ways. And the unrighteous man's his thoughts. Amen. You're going have have to, to have to turn back unto the Father. Amen. You're going to have to return unto the Lord. But, but, but this is how you're going to return unto him. Hmm? Amen. Because he's seeking such that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, yeah, we the world, we got plenty of spirit. Just just showing up today show that you have spirit. I got spirit. I got spirit. Yes, I do. How about you? Huh? Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But who's gonna apply the truth to this spirit? That's right. So you can't have one without the other. You won't be saved that way. John 10 and 27. That's why he said, I shall profess unto thee. I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me. Depart from me. You that worketh iniquity. That's what he said. You that worketh iniquity. And see, if you're sincere, you want to know the things that please the Father. You won't close your ears and close your eyes to it because you really want to be saved. Amen. amen. That's why many of us, we cry. Amen. You yes. heard some testimonies. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I heard my, my sister-in-law testimony, how she cried, yes. how I once was. Amen. Huh? Because the gospel showed her iniquity. Yes. Yes. And then it painted in, the, in a way where it's <laughs> ugly to you. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Sister Missy, how she gave her testimony. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. People that's, that's real and sincere that can acknowledge, amen, amen, that there's nothing good in this flesh. Right. And that we're thankful that the Spirit point these things out to us. Yes, Thank you, Yahweh, huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for the foolishness of Thank preaching. You. Thank you. Huh? Because I thought I was all right, amen. I thought I was on my way to heaven because I believed in him. Uh, because I thought my love was true. Amen. But I love how the Spirit revealed things about ourselves. Amen. Apostle Paul said, I make all men see. Uh, make you see the mystery of this thing. Because, it, uh, because without Yahweh sending his son, Yahshua, who established these apostles, amen, and opened up their understanding, ooh, many of us would still be in our sins. Many of us will still be in our sins. <coughs> Remember, he came to save us from our sins. Yes, he showed us how to do that so that we wouldn't have a cloak. Hmm? You wouldn't be justified 
to remain the way that you are. He said, be therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Amen. How do you mean by perfection? Amen. We ain't talking about that natural stuff. Mm -hmm. Tripping and all of that. But being perfect in the teaching that you receive. I hear you heard the gospel preached. You heard a young sister, uh, she was talking about how, how her grandmother wouldn't allow her to do this and do that. Amen. Uh, being perfected in the stuff that she wanted to do. Not sinning, not cussing. Being made perfect, one that's, that's, that, that bless and curse not. Not committing fornication when your, your eyes come open to the teaching. Uh, if you was once in adultery. You hear the gospel preach, it bring you out of, you made perfect, being made perfect in those things that's been revealed unto you. Amen. This is what he did. So Yeshua the Messiah, he went into the world. Amen. And he began to teach this gospel. Amen. But only uh, those that have an ear to hear. Amen. Can receive this thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Going back over to Timothy. Traitors. Traitors. Heady. Heady. High-minded. High-minded. Lovers of pleasure more. What? Lovers of that's, that's, where, that's the bottom line. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Amen. Right. Amen. That is the bottom line. Yeah. Lovers. Of pleasure. Of, they love their pleasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's stuff that make you feel good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men love Pleasure. More than, lovers of God. More than lovers of God. They rather choose this temporary thing over that which is eternal. Amen. Over that which is everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lovers of pleasure. More than lovers of God. Uh, but the apostle uh, uh, Paul, he said that we should uh, speak the things that become a sound doctrine. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you have to learn to speak those things that's beneficial to your spirit. Those things that are sound, that's set, amen, that's, 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 that's established. His word is already established. Amen. So when you get this thing in, you, you trade in the pleasure of the world uh, and, 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 and learn to suffer like Yeshua the Messiah. Learn to speak like the man of God, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the children of God. Than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Hmm? Because all love is going to come to an end. Hmm? All love is going to come to an end. Hmm? And that's why Yeshua said, I shall profess because it's going to come to an end. Hmm? Huh? When it's time for you to, 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 to be judged upon that day. He said, who is ready to give an account? To judge the quick and the dead. Amen. The dead ain't going to get away. We that's uh, ticking, kicking right now, we ain't going to get away. Amen. Amen. And he's going to judge us according to this. Yeah. So you pray that your life line up to this thing here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's why right now you should take advantage yeah. Yeah. of trying to redeem the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See then that you walk circumspectly. Yeah. Not as fools. Not as fools. Yeah. But as wives, we can be in the house of Yahweh right now and walk as fools. Amen. Seeing that the days are evil. That's why he said that in these last days, perilous times, dangerous times, evil times. And if you don't be careful, it will it, it, trap you. Find yourself caught in the snare of the devil. And that's why he said you have to know these things. So when I go about my, 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 my day, I'm constantly watching. I'm looking for Satan. Huh? Because the gospel taught me how to look for him. There was a time when we had wrought the wheel of the Gentiles. It, it sufficed us because we weren't, we weren't aware. You had no problem uh, committing fornication. Amen. You got your boyfriend, you got your girlfriend. That's the thing to do. That's what boyfriend and girlfriends do. 
First Corinthians, First Corinthians seven. We fornicate. But now you, you, now you're young. That's why she said that she came into the church and she kept herself. Amen. So Yahweh blessed her with a husband. He back there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She kept herself. She abstained from fornication. Amen. What does it read there? First Corinthians seven. Uh huh. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote to me, yes. it is good for a man not to touch a woman. See, you have to. Have, you, if you love the Lord. You have to ask yourself this. If you love the Lord, you're going to seek out what he wants of you. Amen. It's the reason why the church of Corinthians wrote unto Paul concerning these things. Amen. Because if, if you're sincere, you want to know what is the right thing to do. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. You don't want to approach anything without no counseling. Amen. Amen. Then, in the end, your yeah, purpose is you're disappointed. Yeah. Amen. So if you really want to know, you inquire. Amen. Mm -hmm. Eventually we'll probably get there in the book of Acts when Apostle Peter began to speak to them and they desired to want to know how to be saved. Amen. But this is if you really seek in the Lord. Amen. You want to know all that I need to do to be saved, Lord. Um, because I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to be destroyed. Yes, I read it. Amen. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of pleasure. Corinthians, yes, sir. Nevertheless, to uh -huh. avoid fornication. He said, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife. And see, this is what the young sister did when she was speaking about in her testimony. Yes. Mm -hmm. She heard a gospel preach mm -hmm. and heard that how it is an abomination, it's an iniquity yes. no. before the most high God for one to be sleeping around with someone that's not their husband, yes. Amen. not their wives. Right. So the Spirit going to show you uh, 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 what he saved you from. Amen. But the only way you can be saved from it is that you have to stop doing these things. That's right. Amen. Amen. You, you got to come out of it. You got to come out of sin. Huh? What happened when the woman that was caught in adultery? Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? You had those that was around who wanted to condemn her. They wanted to stone her. She, was, she committed adultery. Yeshua looked upon them and said, you without sin, you cast the first stone. Yeah. All those who were around, they began to examine themselves, the elders first. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They withdrew themselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something about them young people, once again, they yeah. headed and they're fierce. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> ready to fight, ready to do something. Yeah. Uh, but then they began to drop their stones. Yeshua looked upon this woman and said, where are they that accused thee? None is here, Lord. He said, watch this. He said, now you go and sin no more. Amen. You go and sin no more. Once again, you must, the true worshipers, you must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Amen. You're going to have to take this truth and apply it to your walk. That's what makes us so different. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Read it, brother. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. He said, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife. Let every man have his own wife. And every woman have her own husband. Honda, that's what I did. Amen. I was one that kept myself. Amen. I'm 38 years old. Amen. Amen. And I kept myself. I didn't experience, you know, what married people do, you know, not until I was about maybe 32. <laughs> but that's how the Lord wanted. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We just spoke about how the man of God said, despiser of those that do good. And they'll look at me, a 32-year-old man, even young at the time. Ah, oh, you a virgin. You ain't had no woman. This is the ways of God. It was right from the beginning. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's the gospel that caused me to do that. Amen. Then you had some of you that was in fornication. Amen. Amen. And you heard how it was a, 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 an abomination before the Lord. Amen. Amen. And then you came out of it. You stopped fornicating. You made that woman your wife. That's what the teacher did. He made Sister Misty his wife. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
came out of fornication. Amen. 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 You're going back over there, Vantage. Thank you, brother. Love is a pleasure, poor. He said, lover of pleasures. Lover of pleasure. What pleasure do we indulge in? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What pleasure did this flesh want to indulge in? Amen. All kinds. Mm -hmm. There's many devices out there to entice a man. Amen. Many devices out there to entice a man. And it's all orchestrated by Satan. Amen. From music to the way that we want to dress. Because God, he wants all of you. He wants you to present your bodies. That means a living everything. sacrifice. That means everything about you. A living sacrifice. Yeah, he wants your ear. Mm hmm. Yeah, he, if he wanted you to have a hole in it, it would have been one there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got one. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, and it's a big one, too. Yeah, that's the one he wanted. Mm -hmm. He gave me another one over here. He wanted you to have a hole in your nose on top of the two you already had. <laughs> yeah, it would have been there. Amen. Amen, huh? He wanted you to have claws. <laughs> it would have been there. Mm. He wanted you to have gold teeth. Yeah, it would have been there. Mm -hmm. He wants you to, because our God is holy. Holy. And he wants his people to be holy. Amen, huh? He wants his people to be holy. So he said that you should present your bodies, everything about you, everything about you. So he, he wants more than just your heart. That's our people. Uh, he knows my heart. Yeah, he sure do. He said to the point that the thoughts of every man's heart may be revealed. Uh, because he knows what's in that thing. He know what's in that thing. It's, it's full of deceit. Yeah. yeah, so he wants your hair. This is this is this is the God that the world so loves. <laughs> it's all written in here. Amen. Because you know we were messed up, so he came forth with a gospel to clean us up. Amen. He said, that you are cleansed by the words which I have spoken unto you. Amen. But you have to be truthful and ask yourself, are you willing to allow the words to clean you up? That's why I thank Yahweh for Sister Missy's testimony. Hmm? Hmm? Because the Spirit is always ministering to us. Hallelujah. The Spirit will never stop uh, 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 cleaning us up. It's, it's always more. There's always more. Yes, sir. Read it, sir. Amen. Having a form of godliness. And he said they're having a form. But denying the power thereof. So you mean that there's a way that one can be. Hmm? This is what Apostle Paul is saying. He's telling me that there's a way that one can be thinking that they know God. That's why I thank Yahweh for this place that he has hidden these, these things from the wise and prudent. Those, those people that think they know what God wants. Hidden those things from the wise and prudent men. These, these profound men that think that, that, that uh, 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 knowledge is gain. But he hidden these things from the wise and those prudent men and revealed it unto babes. Hmm? People that will be willing to humble themselves and receive the word and apply it to their life. Amen. Once again, he, he, he's seeking for such that will worship him. That, that must, this is how you have to do this thing. 
He, he just don't want any type of sacrifice. Amen, amen. Amen. That's why I, I had to change. I was one. I would get on that piano and I would sing my little heart out. But soon as service over with, Yahweh don't want. He don't. He, he, he don't want those type of sacrifices. Amen. All these uh, unwanted burnt uh, uh, offerings unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. You better start adding some truth to that spirit. <laughs> uh, you be, I'm telling you, you better start adding some truth to that spirit. Uh, clean your hands. And hallelujah. But feel the blood. The eight and one, yeah. It's written. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 50, 8 and 1. Yes. Cry aloud. Mm. Yes, Yahweh. Uh, listen to the, the prophet speaking here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whom Yahweh moved upon. Amen. He, he said, Cry out loud. Yeah. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. See, can, the, the thing is, can you can you see that the spirit is trying to save you? Yes, Amen. I'm not going to spare, the, the Spirit's not going to spare the words of salvation from you. Hallelujah. Because they want to see you saved. Right. You know, sometimes we, the word go for it, and you, know, you may not like how it's being delivered. That's, right. That's why I thank y'all for Sister Missy's testimony. <laughs> mm. But the Spirit have to cry out loud. Huh? Because the man of God said that, 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 that we should be a doer of the word and not a hearer only, deceiving our own selves. Hmm? Because we'll be in here thinking we're doing exactly what the Spirit instructed us to do. The people in the world, they actually think that they're they living for God. But there is a way to live. There is a way to, to live for him. It's by this manuscript here. Say, what was written aforetime, you know, before you and I came along, was written for our learning. So that means you're supposed to learn what God wants of you. It's not a feeling thing. And this is what this new generation of people, how they want to worship God. They want to worship him based off a of feeling. He's more than that. <laughs> he's truth. He is spirit and he is life. Amen. He's more than just a feeling. So he said, cry out loud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. And lift up your voice like a trumpet. And show my huh? uh, let a trumpet blast. It's it going to get your attention. Huh? To the point it's going to raise the dead. That's right. Huh? The arch angle, they're going to blow the trumpet. It's going to raise the dead. It's going to get your attention. Dad, it's time to get up, according to the gospel. Amen. It's time to get up. So when the word go forth, it's, it's, it's trying to cause you to get up. We that sleepeth, awaketh thou that sleepeth. Amen. So the spirit, it cries out loud. Amen. Uh-huh. The word of Yahweh, it demands your undivided attention. Yeah, uh, you, you think it's bold? It is bold. Yeah, it calls you to stop what you're doing. Amen. Cry out loud. Spare not. And spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. I want you to share with them what they need to do to be saved. That's right. Mm, because I see that this people is, 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 is not going in a direction that I've called them in. Amen. 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 And, and, and you want to do it today. They said today is the acceptable time. Yeah. This is a time of salvation. Amen. It's, tomorrow is not promised. Amen. That's why I love Sister Misty's testimony. Uh, uh, we after after service that Sunday, I, I knew that she was wrestling. Yeah. Amen. We we all do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, we do. Amen. 
Amen. But we got to the restaurant and, and I, I, I saw the sincerity of change in her heart. She didn't say, don't touch me, prophet. <laughs> I didn't say the thought didn't come. We got thoughts. But the Bible says that we should res uh, uh, resist every evil thought. Amen. I've been there. I've been mad at my dad. Amen. More than one time. Amen. But, but, but if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're sincere, you begin to give a testimony like she said. Yes. Hallelujah. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and I see it. And I'm, I'm at, back out here another week and I'm starting to see it in her kids. Yeah. Amen. They was up there in the fellowship and you got Renee up there. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Ryan. <laughs> Tonka Tough back there. Amen, huh? And that's good. That's what the Spirit want to see. Amen. The Spirit want us to prove whether we be in the faith or not. What faith? The, the Spirit wants you to prove if you be in this teaching. Amen. You so-called lover of, of, of God. <laughs> You're going to have to prove that you in, that you in this here. Not based off this world's uh, 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 way of, 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 of knowing God. Hallelujah. He said, but cry loud. Spare not. Spare not. And lift up your voice like a trumpet. And lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions. And he said, what? Show my people their transgressions. Uh -huh. Are you been shown something this morning? Yes, Amen. Amen. Are you been shown that you that you not all right like you think you are? Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you might have a man on your tongue. Mm -hmm. Or you decide to participate this morning by coming out. Amen. Mm -hmm. The spirit is here to show you yourself. That's right. Hallelujah. Show my people. By their transgressions. Their transgressions. And the house of Jacob their sins. Show my people the things that separate themselves from me. Hallelujah. Show my people the things that separate themselves from me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yet they seek me daily. And he, what? Yet they seek me daily. Yet they seek me daily. And delight to know my ways. Mm -hmm. See, like I say, it don't matter if you got his, his name on your tongue. Yes, it don't matter if you came up and you gave and participated in the offering. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want the people to see something. Amen. That just because you're doing, that don't mean that you are of him. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yet they seek me daily. Yet they seek me daily. And delight to know my ways. Huh? And delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness. As a nation that done righteousness. And forsook not the ordinance of their God. Mm-hmm. They asked of me the ordinances of justice. Yes. They take delight in approaching to God. Mm-hmm. Why have we fasted? See, 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 so, so it don't matter if you talk good. Amen. We serve a God that, 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 that won't action and deeds from us. Amen. Remember, he said about good words and fair speeches. You can talk well. Amen. He, Apostle Paul, he said it well. He said, there'll be a such a people that serve not the Lord and Savior, Yahshua, the Messiah. But by their own bellies, they go that pleasure again. That you were speaking of. Hallelujah. That pleasure. But by good words and fair speeches, they deceive the heart they, you, and, 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 of the simple. So we go back to the job before you came, came to know the truth. So you got Susanna over there talking about God is good. Just because she said that you think she a true believer. He sure is. Won't, won't he do it? Hallelujah, but let somebody make a man. Uh, There's a man out there that got a song out there. He talking about he believe in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know that God is real. And listen, listen, this is how we are at times. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, hey. he song's talking about try Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't try me because I throw hands. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he believe in God. That's what he said. That, that is what he said. Try Jesus. He sang it. Don't try me, cause I throw hands with the choir. With the choir. They robe. You seen? It? You seen it? 
foolishness. Mocking God. Uh, but he, he doing interviews with his wife and winning Grammys. I thank God for this and I thank God for that. The Lord don't want us to be like that. So it's showing us ourselves. If, if you're going to try him, you better be like him. And put those hands up, Peter. Yeah, it's going to be like him. Why try him and don't want to be like him? Matthew 5 and 38. Read Evangelist. Why have we fasted, say they? He said, where have we fasted? And you say they. Mm-hmm. Why have we afflicted our soul? Mm-hmm. And you take no knowledge. Yes. Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure. See, so it don't matter what you do. Mm -hmm. If ain't no truth applied to it, all that you're doing is in vain. They had a spirit. They, they, they fasted, but he said, well, where have I seen you fast? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where have you truly afflicted yourself? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Behold, in the day of your fast. Behold, in the day of your fast. You find pleasure. You find pleasure. And exact all your labor. And you exact all. You, you, you find pleasure. You do all that you want to do. Amen. That's why, once again, you, can, you, you can't have the one without the other. You can't just serve the Lord in spirit and leave out the truth. You're going to be real or you're going to be fake about this thing here. Amen. They thought they was all right because they fasting. Amen. You think you're all right because you believe a God exists. God exists. God exists. God exists. Just believe. But when it's time to believe... <laughs> In this thing here, do he really exist? Because if he exists, he'll be he'll, he'll manifest yes. in your walk. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Yes, sir, read it. Behold, you fast for strife and debate. He said, Behold, you fast for strife and, and debate. And to smite with the fist of wickedness. Mm, even when you're doing, you ain't doing it the right way. Yes, uh -huh. You have alternative motive. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes we do things just to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. When the Messiah spoke, he said that, that when we do fast, that we shouldn't uh, uh, do it uh, 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 like the hypocrite, hypocrites do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Flick their face and make it seem that they're doing something. But inwardly, they're full of dead men, bones, and all hypocrisy. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you have to apply this truth to your walk. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I often say I slow down. How will my father handle this? Right. I want to apply truth in what I'm doing, but if I don't, I know how Harvey Washington would do things. I know how I would handle things. Yes. Yes. Amen. The, the other day, I, I, I repented to some brothers. Amen. Because they, they did something that they weren't supposed to do as far as work go. Amen. And, and, and I'm going to do no evil unto them. Based off the company policy, I had every right to do that. But anger caused me to want to uh, 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 punish them, if you will. So I said, no, I can't be like that. I can't say that I love my brothers and my sisters and then I act out of anger, yeah, act out of vengeance. Yeah, amen. Amen. If you love, it should be true. Amen. It should be pure. Yeah, so I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Amen. amen. I'm going to go ahead and give them their bonus they, and, and continue to implement love like the Messiah will want me to do. Amen. So you're going you're gonna to have to prove yourself whether you be in the faith or not. Amen. 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 And in this walk here, there's always opportunities Amen. to prove whether or not you love the Lord, Hallelujah. whether you really believe in him. Yes. When you say you believe in God, that means you believe in his words that he brought forth. Hallelujah. Yes. yes, sir. Amen. Behold, you fast for strife and debate. Behold, you fast for strife and debate. And to smite with the fist of wickedness. Mm -hmm. You shall not fast as you do this day. Yes, sir. To make your voice to be heard. On uh, he wants, I want you to stop all this. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's crying out loud. I want you to stop all of this. Mm -hmm. you, you don't know the harm that you're causing. You don't know the, the path of destruction that you're on. Mm -hmm. You're going to worship me, a people? Hallelujah. I, I'm going to show you how to worship me in spirit and in truth. 
I'm going to teach you how to implement my teaching in your everyday walk. Yeah. I'm going to teach you how to lean towards me, amen, when you need strength. Yeah. I'm going to teach you how to call on me when you're yeah. faced with adversities. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, amen. Um, is it such a fast that I have chosen? Mm -hmm. A day for a man to afflict his soul? Mm -hmm. it is, to, is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? Wait, is this grace that I've given unto you, is it such a day for you to conduct yourself the way you want to conduct yourself? Amen. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not. His, not. His grace is not given unto us to take advantage of it. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Like grace that grace may abound? may abound? He said, God forbid. forbid. Romans 6 and 1. You shouldn't live there longer, therefore, in that sin. Amen. <coughs> I'm, I'm thankful that he's able to, that he implemented this, that he taught us how to be. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. But we could be just like the woman, uh, the Samaritan woman, not knowing how, what we worship, how we're worshiping. But that, that scares me for him to say, uh, 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 profess unto me, depart from me. I know you not, you work of iniquity. So that's why I'm always watching for Satan. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When it's all done here and I leave, I know he's going to be waiting for me. Amen. 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 I know he's going to be he's going to be waiting for me. So I got to make sure that all that I do I, is, is right. Amen. Amen. So, so you have to take time to be able to think on these things here. You, when you begin to think about the gospel, it manifests in your life. Yes, sir, read it. Hey Amen. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush mm -hmm. and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Uh huh. Will you call this a fast? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's your, day uh, to is your worship in, is in vain? And what you're doing, is it in vain? Lord, All that you're choosing to do, is it in vain? Amen. Yes, sir. Is not this the fast I have chosen mm -hmm. to loose the bands of wickedness? He said, this is what the, 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 the fast is for. This is what my, the, the, the truth is for. Yes, huh? To set you free. Yes. To loose those bands, the things that keep you bound. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Hallelujah. Uh -huh. yes. To free you from these things that got you bound. Hallelujah. Yes. Isn't it not this is what my word is for? Amen. To loose the bands of wickedness. To loose the bands of wickedness. To set you free. To undo the heavy burden. To undo the heavy burden and stuff that got you cast down. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Amen. Isn't that what his yoke is for? Amen. Yes. What his word is for to, to free us from the things that, 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 that cripple us. Yes. yes. Amen. The sin that's in this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. To loose the bands of wickedness. To loose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens. To undo the heavy burdens. And to let the oppressed go free. To let the oppressed go free. And that you break every yoke. Huh? Don't you want to be free? Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. I said, don't you want to be free? Well, come on over to the Lord's side. Amen. Come on over to the Lord's side. Incline your ears unto yes. his words what he administered unto thee. Yes, yes sir. Is it not to deal your bread to the hungry? Is it not to deal? See, he's, he's showing you what, uh, what his word is able to do, yes. how you implement it, and it's and is, and is, and is made known unto the world. Amen. Is it not the, uh, is, uh, the deal thy bread unto the hungry? And that you bring the poor that are cast out to your house? Mm hmm When you see the naked, that you cover him? Mm hmm And that you hide not yourself from your own flesh? Yes, sir. Then he say, said that you hide not your what? Your flesh from your own self. From your own flesh. Read it. Uh -huh. Then shall your light break forth as the morning. Ah, see, now, now, now people can be able to witness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. See that there is a God that's really implemented and in, in, that's in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. That he is in you. Once you start doing the right thing. And this is not just for a show. It's not for pretense. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. And your health shall Go, uh, shall spring forth speedily, mm -hmm. and your righteousness shall go before you. Yes, Lord. The glory of Yahweh shall be your rear guard. Mm -hmm. Then shall you call. Yes. And Yahweh shall answer. Mm -hmm. See, once you begin to do things the right way, you, yes. that's how you know the Lord is with you. Amen. 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 Begin to manifest himself until you begin to bless your people, begin to see the change. That's how you know one has truly been set free by, 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 by the truth. Yes. 
Amen. Amen. Let's go on back to John now. Man of love. Behold what man of love. The Father has bestowed upon us. Mm -hmm. Now, can you see the love now? Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you see the love that yes. has been administered <laughs> into the world? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I say, Amen. truly, can you see the love now? Amen. That he, he did more than just die. Yes. That he loved us so much that he, he taught us how to be. Amen. Yes, sir. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. Uh-huh. That we should be called the sons of God. That we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knew us not. Uh, see, that's why they look at us strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we come in here, we have visitors at times. They may think that we're we, we different. Yes, they do. Because we are different. Yes, they, are. they look at us, they don't understand. They know us as not because they know not God. Amen. They don't know that this is how God wants every man and every woman to be. Everyone. When they see you, they just if you are a true worshiper, yes, a true worshiper, one that's willing to worship him in spirit and truth, they know you not. Amen. Amen. They can't comprehend. Amen. They can't understand. Amen. Because they don't know the ways of God. That's right. Amen. But therefore the world knows us not. Uh-huh. Because it knew him not. Read it. Beloved. Beloved. Now are we the sons of God. Now we are the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we not, shall be. And he ain't talking to everybody. Amen. Even though his love is for everyone, everyone is not a son of God. Because right. everyone is not going to receive him. That's right. Hallelujah. Who shall believe our report? Hmm? Right. And who will the arm of the Lord be revealed That's to right. the sons of God? That's right. Amen. Because when you, when you see this thing, he says that there's no beauty that you should desire him. Amen. But he is rejected and despised of all men. Yeah. It's something about his ways. Whenever you see it, uh, this flesh, it don't want to line up to it. Amen. Nah, it don't take all of that. Nah, nah that's you. But that ain't me. It's your belief. But there's only one belief. That's one Lord. There's one faith. Yeah. One baptism. That's, uh, the other word, that's only one way to believe in the Lord. Amen. He only brought forth one gospel of reconciliation. Yeah. He didn't come into the world and give a, a, a gospel to the Catholics. He didn't come into the world and give a gospel to those that are Baptists. Amen. Seven day of bandits. Right. First or second Baptist church. No. He didn't come into the world with a different name and, and give something to the Muslims. No. The gospel said there's one Lord. Right. There's one faith. There's only one way to believe. Yeah. And he's seeking those that are he's seeking such of a people that will be willing to be bold. Mm -hmm. To enter into the holy of holies yes, right. with a full assurance of faith, as Apostle Paul said. Who's going to be bold to, to enter this thing the, the way that the Lord is inquiring? Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Behold. Behold. Now are we the sons of God. Uh -huh. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. Yes, sir. But we know that when he shall appear, mm -hmm. we shall be like him. Yes, sir. For we shall see him as he is. As he is. Read it. And every man that has his hope in him. Every man that have this hope. Purifies himself. See, every man don't have this hope. Even as he is. Apostle Paul said, all men have not faith. Not mm -hmm. If you don't have no faith, how can you hope in something? Amen. Uh, Amen. You have no faith. How can you hope in something? But if you have have faith, you have this hope in you. He says what? And every man that has this hope in him uh -huh. purifies himself. You're going to purify yourself. Even as he is purified. Purify from, from what? That, that, that iniquity? Uh -huh. That stuff that is separating you from the most high? Hallelujah. That stuff when he said, I shall profess unto thee, I knew you not. Amen. But I'm doing this. Once again, he said, I knew you not. It don't matter what you choose to do. 
But every man that has his hope in him purified himself. Even as he is pure. Even as he is pure. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresses also the law. And see, he came and he pointed out sin so we can stop doing this stuff. That's right. He that committed sin. Amen. Transgresses also the law. You transgresses also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. For sin is the very thing that fight against the law. What law? The law of Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. You think you can be? You think you can remain the way that you are? <coughs> let's keep that. But this um, script is coming here and there. Give me the first. That first Corinthians five and, and sixteen. Yes, Yahweh. I'm, the Spirit is trying to ex expound that you can't remain the way that you are and think you're gonna be saved. Hallelujah. <coughs> Amen. Six and nine. Yeah, six and nine. First Corinthians six and nine. Amen. First Corinthians six and nine. Mm -hmm. What is written? Yes, sir. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the you kingdom of me Yahweh? That this is something that you should know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's why so many people are gonna be lost because they don't know this. Amen. 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 But blessed are your ears for they hear. Amen. Blessed are your eyes for they see. That's why I said we blessed to be here. Amen. That's why I, I, I thank Yahweh to come into the house of Yahweh. I, I don't have to have a house full of people for me to praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Huh? I don't have to have a house full of people to, for me to praise Yahweh. I don't have to have visitors for me to praise Yahweh. I, I sing over there and I close my eyes because I know who I'm singing to. Because I, I think about these things. Uh, that's why Apostle Paul said, whatever things are, 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 are true, amen, uh, whatever things are honest, just, lovely, pure, hmm? whatever, uh, if, there's, if there's any virtue and any praise, Amen. think of these things. Amen. This is why I'm able to give Yahweh glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I, I know how he operates, what he brought me from. But what we, we, what we trying to do is get, trying to get people to understand that you're going to have to renounce the hidden things of dishonesty in order for one to be saved. So let's read it. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins. Uh, 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 Corinthians. Oh. Yes, sir. Know you not that the right, unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, other words, that's something that you need to know. Mm -hmm. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Know this here, brother and sister. Read it. <clears throat> read it. Be not deceived. And be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Why he say that? Because somebody's going to come and tell you that it don't take all of that. Are uh, you all right? Amen. Once saved, always saved. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The Lord love you. He'll forgive. Yeah, he will forgive you. Mm -hmm. But we just got through saying, uh, 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 shall we continue in sin that his grace may abound? That's not why his grace is established. His grace is established for us to acknowledge him. Amen. 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 Given time, grace is, grace is borrowed time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you didn't know that grace is called, it's borrowed time. Many of us, we own, we, we rent homes or apartments and all that. Amen. The rent is due on the first. Yeah. 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 And they say you have up to the 10th to pay, but it's due on the first. Yeah. But they are the sixth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they, but they give you five days, a grace period, to be able to uh, uh, get it correct before you get evicted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. So this, this grace is borrowed time for us to get correct with Yahweh. Yes, sir. Read it, Brother Jonathan. Be not deceived. He said, be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Come on now. Be not deceived. Don't let nobody come and tell you otherwise. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody come. Don't let mother come tell you otherwise. Amen. Uh, don't let brother come tell you otherwise. Amen. Don't let sister come tell you otherwise. Uh, don't let wife come tell you otherwise. Husband, Amen. children to tell you otherwise. Hallelujah. Be not deceived. Mm-hmm. Neither fornicators. He said neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. I don't want to that word fornicator again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Neither fornicator. And of course, we can, fornication covers many things. Mm -hmm. All forms of iniquity. Amen. But neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. Mm -hmm. Nor adulterers. You know, that stuff that you tend to want to worship. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. This time period that we live in, especially with young women, mm -hmm. idolatry with them is, is the appearance of how they look. 
makeup, the pride of life, and all of that type of stuff. To the point where ain't, ain't nobody even look uh, 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 distinct. <laughs> Everybody looking like a Kardashian. All it, it's vain. Amen. 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 Whatever it may be, sports, that's idolatry. I'm not coming to church no Sunday the Cowboys playing. Hmm? Yeah. The Cowboys, you say what? They, they, yeah, they suit the church. They trump them. First Timothy 2 and 9. Idolatry, idolatry, anything that we deem to want to worship, we give it more time. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It becomes our God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it is. It, it, it is a God. Well, let, let that woman walk out without that makeup. He's going to kill her. No! I got to put my face on. Be late to work. Mm -hmm. Idolatry. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. Nor adulterers. Nor adulterers. Nor infamine. Nor infamine. Oh, infamine. Mm. We had this time where, where, where people are just broadcasting being all, all gay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You can see it everywhere. It's so confusing. They, 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 <laughs> they messing up the, 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 the English vocabulary based off a uh, uh, plural and sling, uh, singular now. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How am I supposed to address you? You go by them. Uh, so if it's, if, if it's two of you there, I'm looking at a sister here and a sister there. She go by them, and you a person. So I'm supposed to say, hey, thems? Y'all. Y'all's? 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 Can you tell them to come here? No. Can you tell thems to come here? Yeah, don't make no sense. Don't make no sense. By pronouns. By pronouns. The world is messed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Apostle Paul, he wants people to know because yeah. people are in this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. People are fornicators. Yeah. People are idolaters. Yeah. People are in adultery. Amen. People are infeminate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he, he wants Jimmy to stay a male. Yeah. He wants Susie to stay a female. Amen. And they go and they misconstrue God's love by saying that uh, uh, that's not how God wa uh, wants you to think. I love you. I'm not going to mistreat you. But I got to stand on the word. I'm sorry. If, if, you, if you came out Tom, I'm going to keep calling you Tom and not Tabitha. That's right. That's right. Amen. Huh? But he wants want people to know this. Infeminate. Uh -huh. Nor are those who lie with males as females. Uh-huh. Nor thieves. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Uh, you can't be no thief. Amen. You have to work with your hands. Yeah. Earn your living. Yes, sir. Read it. No covetous. The covetous. No drunkards. No, you can't be drunk. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is the time we live in. People love reveling in parties. Yeah. Live for the weekend and get drunk. Yeah. This, these are the ways of Yahweh. Amen. These are the ways of God. This is the gospel. Um, Amen. Who you say, I may acknowledge as Jesus, we acknowledge as Yahshua the Messiah brought into the world. Amen. Yes, sir. <clears throat> no revilers. Uh huh. No extortioners. No extortioners. Shall, shall inherit the kingdom of God. He said, What? Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. So that means that that's, that's things that you and I have to come out of. Amen. I come to save men from themselves. Hallelujah. I come to save men from sin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it takes a man of God to be able to point sin out in your life in order to, to, to provoke change. Yeah. All right, going back to John, and we're going to stay there now. <laughs> Amen. Whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law. He said, so whoever commits sin transgresses also the law. For well, sin is transgression of the law. Yes, sir. And you know that he was manifest to take away our sin. <clears throat> See, we know this. Mm -hmm. Yes. The question is, do you know it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That yes. this is why Yahweh sent his son. Right. Remember, we started off saying that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Yes. 
And now John is telling you why, uh, what, what he did. Yeah. Amen. Read it. <laughs> and you know that he was manifest to take away our sin. He was, he was manifest to do what? Take away our sins. He was manifested to do what? Take away our sins. You mean the Son of God was given unto us to do what? Take away our sins. He was manifested to take away our sins. Um, hallelujah. Yes, I read it. And in him is no sin. And in him is no sin. Whoever remains in him. Ah, whoever remains in him. Remains in him. Sins not. Now, listen, if, if, if there is no sin in him and you remain in him, don't you know that you purified? Yes. If you say that you are in the Messiah, don't you know that you are purified from, that, from, from sin itself? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is the type of message that people don't like. Amen. Because a love of pleasure yes. more than love of God. Huh? Because when sin is pointed out to you, it begins to take away your fun. Amen. Mm. The so-called fun. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Lord, when you should be saying, I thank y'all that you've taken away my sin. Yes. Amen. Not the fun. Oh, we still have fun. I had fun yesterday. Amen. Oh, yeah. mm. That fellowship was fun, wasn't it, Carmen? <laughs> they was out there. They put, participated. Right, Jasmine. She won. She, they, they, they beat those brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, Jonathan. I let air. <laughs> Sisters deflated them. <laughs> we have fun. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Whosoever remains in him sins not. Uh huh. Whosoever sins yes. has not seen him, uh, neither known him. The high, he said, Whoever sins, you have not seen him. Neither known him. Neither known him. He ain't talking about you. He ain't talking about acknowledging that, 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 that he died. Known him. No, uh, other words, his works, his word. You don't, you don't know the words of Yahweh, what he wants of you. Because yes. right. if you did, you would, you would cease from sinning. All that stuff will come to a halt. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Little children. Little children. Let no man deceive you. He said, now, come on now. Let no man deceive you, little he, children. He, so he, you got to stop those. You got to stop people from talking to you. Yeah. You, you got to stop those people from talking to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. It, it got to the point, even, even Apostle Paul said, though we or an angel hmm, preach any other gospel, you mean even an angel? Now we just got through speaking about you casting out devils. Uh -huh. Now you talking about even an angel? If they come and preach any other gospel than this, than which you which we have preached unto you, he said you let them be a curse. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah! You gotta watch out for family members. Amen. Mm -hmm. Those that backslide, they like calling you. Mm -hmm. They don't call nobody else, but they like calling you. You better, Bible says, you better beware how you entertain strangers. Yeah, he, he was talking about angels, but at the same time, hallelujah, uh, uh, Satan still uh, operates. Yeah. You better be careful how you entertain devils. Yeah. 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 People backslide, and, and, and they, they, they constantly call you, but don't want to call nobody else. Yeah. That means they, see a weakness. they see a weakness in you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have nobody call me back, uh, back, backslid and tell me about their life out there. I was close to my cousin and my brother, very close. Amen. Till this day, they, they don't call me like that. Amen. They call me as work related because we all in the same business. Amen. Have you been here? Have you, you? Who do I speak to? They don't. They don't get. They don't inform me what they got going on out there. So you have to be careful. Let no one deceive you. Amen. So you got to learn how to stop those people that are speaking foolish. Let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous. He that does righteousness is righteous. Even as he is righteous. Even as he is righteous. See, this is how you're going to know whether one got this teaching in them. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, fruit going to be there. Righteousness is going to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He that do it righteous is righteous. Even uh, as he so is so righteous. It, 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 it don't matter what you say. Hallelujah. I'm looking for deeds. Yeah. You can say, uh, I love the Lord all you want to, but I'm looking for deeds. <laughs> Yahweh, he is looking for deeds. Amen. Matthew 7, 7 and 17. How about this thing is very serious. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. 
So you have to learn how to speak these things that become of sound doctrine. He's when he been to speak about those age men that you be sober minded. Hallelujah. You have to have a sober mind to do this. They can't be drunk with the world. They can't be drunk with your ways. Once again, let the wicked forsake their ways. And the unrighteous man, his thought. This is how you're going to become righteous. He that is righteous, what? He that what? He that commits <coughs> sin. I mean, little children are no man deceived. Mm -hmm. He that does righteousness yes. is righteous. He that does righteousness is righteous. Even as he is righteous. Even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, who's your daddy? Uh, who's your daddy? He that committed sin is of the devil. Uh, is of the devil because you know he he he, uh, he has ways about himself. Yeah. God has ways about himself. Uh -huh. The ways of Yahweh is holy. Yeah. Uh -huh. The ways yeah. of Satan is unholy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Get to see your wife. Amen. Hallelujah. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. From the, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose. For this purpose. The Son of God was manifested. For this purpose. Why his love was implemented. Yes, Lord. Yes. Why his love was implemented for you. Hallelujah. For you. Yes, Lord. Amen. For me. Amen. And those that's not even in this building this day. Amen. Hallelujah. For this purpose. Amen. Was the Son of God manifest? Uh huh. That He might destroy the works of the devil. Oh, that He might destroy the works of the devil. He said, "Might," because right. that's something that you got to do. Amen. That's right. So there we go. So one save, always save is out the window. <laughs> one save, always save is out the window. Amen. For this purpose, He was manifested. Amen. That the Son of God will manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Because there's something that you have to do. Amen. The way that you and I are able to destroy the works of the devil is because he showed us how to do it. Amen. Amen. When he told that, that woman was caught in adultery to go away and sin no more, she destroyed the works of the devil. Yeah. By his teaching, go and sin no more. Now, if she decide to do opposite, amen, then she'll be still in her sin. Amen. So there's something that you have to do. Amen. This is a free will thing. Yes. The Lord wants you to prove your love to him. Yes. He's not going to make anybody do this. Amen. He want a free will offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Whosoever is born of God. Hmm? Does not. Okay, now, now, now we say that we love them. Hallelujah. Amen. And this word, if it's if, if it's if it's ministering to your soul, see your soul, you begin to be born again. Yes, Lord. Born again. In other words, now that old life that you was once living is no longer uh, 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 in existence. Amen. Amen. My apostle Paul said, "I am crucified in the Messiah. Nevertheless, I live; yet not I, but the Messiah." Hmm? In the life that I now live, I live by the Son of God. He said, the life that I now live. Amen. You mean he changed the way he was living? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. You mean he changed the way that he was living? Yes. The life that I now live, present tense, yeah, live I live by the faith. Yeah. See, you're going to have to have faith in his words. Yes, you're going to have to have faith in the Son of God Amen. that what he did is good enough for you. Amen. <laughs> His word is good for you. Amen. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Hmm? Behold, what manner of love hmm? the Father had bestowed upon us. Can you see it? Hmm, can you see it? Keep it just in case he called again. Yes, sir, read it, evangelist. Whosoever is born of God. Whosoever is born of God. Does not commit sin. Does not commit sin. For his seed remains in him. For his seed remaineth in him. And he cannot uh -huh. sin. What seed? This word. This word. Um, this word. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm kept by the word. Um, that, that's what keep you. The word keep you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. You get this word and you this seed. And you keep coming here and allow it to, to, to be watered when the word going forth. Uh, it begins to blossom in you. Amen, huh? 
people get to look around and say, wow, boy, that brother show is flourishing. That sister the show is flourishing. Get this, get this seed in you, this word. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Because for his seed remains in him. For his seed remaineth in him. And he cannot sin. And he cannot what? Sin. He cannot sin. Because he is born of God. I'm telling you, you get this in you. Hallelujah. You cannot sin. Uh, then that's why I don't cuss no more. Amen. Amen. I was a fighter. That's why I don't fight anymore. Amen. Amen. I was a liar. That's why I don't lie no more. Mm. Amen. Some of us are fornicators. We don't, that's why we don't fornicate no more. Amen. Some of us were adulterers. That's why we don't commit adultery no more. Amen. Uh, some of us were stealers. That's why we don't steal no more. Mm. Uh, some of us were drunkards. That's why we don't get drunk no more. <laughs> Uh, because this seed get, get, get within you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, he cannot sin. and you cannot sin. Because he is born of God. Because he is born of God. In this, uh, in this, the children of God are manifest. Now, in this, the children of God are manifested. And the children of the devil. And the children are the, uh, of the devil. So we don't know who you are based off your deeds. Amen. Amen. All that ya ya cha cha big talk stuff. Amen, yeah. hun. All it is is hot air. Uh, we we looking for deeds, amen. In this, the children of God are manifest. Uh, this is how you gonna acknowledge that if you are one of His or not. Amen. Not because you say you love Him, amen. But by deeds. Yes, sir. Read it. Whosoever does not righteousness. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Uh huh. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning. Yes, sir. That you should love one another. That you should love one another. Not as Cain, mm -hmm. who was as a wicked one, and yes, sir. slew his brother. Uh huh. But why slew he him? Because yes. his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it's very important that we do the right thing. Amen. 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 To be able to help one another in here. I, we heard the testimonies about, about doing the right thing. She, Sister Missy spoke about Sister Justine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we do the right thing, we help one another. You help one another's faith in here. <clears throat> That's why I love what I saw the other day as far as a young people coming together. Amen. We need, we, need, we need more leaders like that to orchestrate things like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, everybody can be a leader. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it gives life. Yes, All right, let's go on over to Acts. We'll end it there. Two yes, sir. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know it should. Mm -hmm. Now, you in the house of Israel. Hmm? Uh -huh. Let all the house of Israel, you know, in the house of the Lord, let all the all those that's part of this thing here, uh -huh. that's know in the house, sure. know assuredly that God has made that same Yeshua. That God had made that same Yeshua. Whom you have crucified. That same Yeshua whom you have crucified. Both Lord and Messiah. Mm -hmm. You know that we, we, we crucify him. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you tend not to do what he's instructing you to do. Yes. That God, hallelujah. Uh -huh. this, this, this Savior that has been introduced into the world. Yes, sir. Now, when they heard this. Now, when they heard this. They were pricked in their hearts. You heard many things this morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, 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 the spirit went here and the spirit went there. Yes. You heard many things this morning. Uh -huh. Now, what happened at Apostle uh, 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 Peter, uh, he began to uh, uh, preach unto the people after they had received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And those that was around, they, 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 they bear witness to some things, things that they might have heard. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And after he began to preach unto, unto them, they wanted to know what they should do to be saved. Right. And they said to Peter. And they said unto Peter. And to the rest of the apostles. And to the rest of the apostles. Men and brethren. Men and brethren. What shall we do? Huh? If, now this is what you want to be saved. Amen. Men and brethren. What, shall, what we shall we do? Apparently something was said and it touched somebody's heart. Apparently, something was said, shared, amen, and it touched somebody's heart. Yes. Because the word of Yahweh is here to minister to your heart. Yes. Amen, huh? Yes. The word go forth, it should be pricked. Yes. Huh? Because when it's pricked, it knows that that thing is made of flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. And, 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 and then you want to implement change. That's why I thank Yahweh for Sister Misty Testimony. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm. You want that heart to be pricked. Yes, Lord. 
this is how you're going to be saved. Yeah. Your heart can't be pricked. How are you going to be saved? Yeah. No shame, no change. Yeah. Yes, sir, read it. Then Peter said unto them. Then Peter had said unto them. Repent uh -huh. and be baptized. Yes, sir. Every one no, of you. This is what Peter said. Uh -huh. He said, you want to be saved? Hallelujah. You uh -huh. sincere? This is what you're going to need to do. Uh -huh. Repent. You're going to need to repent. Why uh -huh. repent? Uh -huh. huh? Because you were born into sin and you're shaped by iniquity. This flesh is full of iniquity. Yeah. You're going to have to repent of that. Amen? Turn from, right. Turn from your wicked ways. Yeah. And be baptized. Uh -huh. But first you got to acknowledge it to be wicked. That's right. Or you'll never repent. That's, right. well, that's why so many people came into this place and left. Yeah. They, right. they, they, they failed to acknowledge that their ways was wicked. Yeah, that's right. Amen. They continued to deem that how they was living was all right. Not so bad. Uh, but that's not what the Bible says. That's right. Either you're a son of God or you're not. Amen. 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 Don't let big talk get you in trouble. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, sir. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Repent. Uh -huh. And then be baptized. Every one of you. Yeah, you're going to have to go in that water. Got to get in there. You got to get in that water to, uh, so you can be clean. So all that filthiness. Uh, don't, uh, don't we take baths? Yeah. Amen. Uh, at least we should. You know, yeah. shower or something. Yeah. Hallelujah. You have a hard day out there working. Uh -huh. Amen. Huh? You, you might not can't smell yourself. Yeah. But people around can. Yeah. And that's how it is with sin. We can't smell ourselves. Amen. We can't see ourselves. Amen. <laughs> Uh, we immune to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some, of, some of us have kids. I got baby Lee. He hate taking baths. Mm -hmm. After all, I've been at school all day. Um, ripping and running. Come in. I know you've been outside. I know you had recess. Your shoes dirty. Uh -huh. You've you been crawling through the sand, the sand lot over there. Yeah. And it's time for him to take a bath. He get to cry. <laughs> he don't want to take a bath. He don't think he dirty. Yeah, he, yeah he, he don't think he, he smell like outdoors. But, but you do. Like yeah. <laughs> Yahweh, he's smelling us. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. He wanted to go up to him as a sweet yeah. <sighs> and smelling savior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Other than that, he smell wickedness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He smell iniquity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you smell sinful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sin stinks. Yeah, it does. It, it, it stinks. He, 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 he abhors it. He don't like it to the point where he said that it grieved him to his heart that he had ever made man. You see how messed up we are? He said that it grieved him to his heart that he ever, ever made man because of the things that we tend to do. Uh -huh. Sin had reached the heaven. But thank Yahweh that he, he sent his son. Amen. Even though we grieve him to his heart. Even some of us now may grieve him to his heart. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Wherever it may be, not loving your husband, wife, a way of grieving him to his heart. But yet he still so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Uh, so he said, repent. Every now, come on now, get in that water. Every one of uh, is that what we did? Amen. Uh, is that what we did here? We heard a gospel preached. Hallelujah. Uh, what shall we do to be saved, man of God? <coughs> what shall we do to be saved, man of God? Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Amen. So we, 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 we became living epistles. Amen. Bread of all oh, men. We became a, a partakers of the latter day saints. Yes. Where is this water? Amen. Huh? So we went down into that water and came up new creatures. Uh, so repent and be baptized, every one of, every you, one of you, in, the name of, Yeshua the in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, the, the very one that saved you, in that, name, in that name, the one that brought this gospel of reconciliation. Yeah, right. yeah him, the one you say you love. Yeah. The, one that was the one that was manifested, yeah. huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The one that we so proudly proclaim. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Yeshua. You mean he said this is for everyone? Uh -huh. this, you said this is for everyone? Uh -huh. No, nah, he said some of you. 
Everyone. No, he said, he said you. Everyone. Every one of you. Them's. Every one of you. Both of you. Both of you. Every one of you. So this, this gospel is for everyone? Everyone. It's not my will that any man shall perish. Everyone? Everyone. You man, huh? It's not his will. That everyone. Anyone should perish, but everyone. Everyone. In the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Read it. And for the remission of sins. For because you need to be purified of this stuff. Yes. For the remission of sins. You need to be purified from this stuff. Yes, Lord. Uh, because remember this. He's coming back for a church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we are the church. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? He's coming back for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. So you, you have to be a, a, a purified for remission of sins. You got to be clean from that. And it take the word to do it. Hence, you are cleansed by the words. Uh -huh. Which I, I mean, every word. Amen. You can't live by bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth, every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, he had many words. Every word. Every word. Uh-huh. Amen. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Yes, sir. In the name of Yahshua the Messiah. In the name of Yahshua the Messiah. For the remission of sin. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises mm -hmm. to you. Amen. Even this morning, a gift has been presented unto you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Even this morning, a gift has been presented unto you. Yes, sir. A gift has been presented unto thee. That's right. Do you accept the gift? Yes. Amen. Or do you reject the gift? Hallelujah. Why, why is it we don't want what God has to give us? He shall go before thee as a tender root and a dry ground. He has no form nor no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there's no beauty that we shall desire him. Amen. Huh? Because this gift don't come in, in pleasure. Amen. Amen. This gift don't come in pleasure. This gift don't come with suffering. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But in the end, you shall reap that uh, abundantly. Mm -hmm. Life everlasting. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 That's what happens when you repent and get baptized. You embark onto a new journey, yes, Lord. a new way of living. Yes, yes, I read evangelist. For the promise is to you. For the promise is unto you. And to your children. See, this promise is, is for you. And, and to your children. And we look around, I see our children here. That's why it's very important that parents do the right thing. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So that this promise can trickle on down to your kids. Yes. And to all huh? that are That's problems. why I thank Yahweh for Sister Missy Testimony. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the Spirit wants us all to be real with ourselves. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes, Amen. You want this promise for your children, but you got to do it first. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. My Father, He did it first. Amen. It trickled down on down to us. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. For the, uh, for the promise is unto you. Uh huh. And to your children. And to your children. And to all that are far. And to all that are far. And they did this so many years ago. Amen. Here we are now. Mm -hmm. This promise, and it, it was prophesied even for us. Yeah, to, all to all that are far off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. As many as our Lord our God shall call. He calling everyone. Amen. From the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Amen. Many are called, amen, but yet few are chosen. So it's not a coincidence that you hear. It's not a coincidence that the, 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 the spirit calls Sister Madeline. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Madison. What do you say? Madeline. Oh. Madison. Okay. Madeline. Madeline. Amen. I, thought you, I thought I said it wrong when you said that. Oh, yeah. About to correct it. You know, I'm like my dad. We'll mess up some names. <laughs> Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. That's why she's here. Amen. Amen. I mean, that's why we all are here. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's calling. He's calling. She was on the main line. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you. Do you want salvation? 
Tell them that you want it. Mm-hmm. You know how you're going to tell them how you want it? By doing it. That's how you need by doing it. Amen. That's right, teacher. Actions speak louder than words. Yes. yes, sir. Finish it. And with many other words. And with many other words. Did he testify? I ah, see. It don't stop here. Keep coming out. Uh-huh. Uh, it don't stop here. Keep coming out. Amen. And, 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 and Apostle uh, uh, Peter spoke about Apostle Paul and all his epistles. Uh-huh. There, was, there was many things that was written. Uh-huh. There's many things that's written that, that, that applies to your salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Huh? If you really want to be saved, there's many things that's applied to your salvation. Yeah. Amen. It said it's given unto us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Oh, yeah. The, the Spirit going to get up all in your business. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amen, huh? Yeah. You, know, you got to be like MTV when they come on in. Hmm? Come on into this crib, this vessel here. <laughs> come on in into this tabernacle. Yeah, huh? tabernacle. Amen. Huh? Yeah, but, but, but you can't kick him out. At the end of the show, they say, well, you can't stay here. You ain't got to go home, amen, but you can't stay here. Now nah, you better let them dwell in you. Uh-huh. Let them dwell in you richly. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, let's finish it. And with many other words. And with many other words. And exhort, did he testify and exhort? Saying, save yourself. And many other words did he testify and exhort, because we exhort you to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah we do. We were exhorting you to do the right thing. We're testifying of this thing. We're trying to exhort you to do the right thing. Yes. It don't stop here. The Lord has many things assured unto you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. Saying, save yourself. He said, saying, save yourself. From this perverse generation. Uh-huh. Don't you want to be saved? Amen. From this perverse, gen- this wicked generation? Yeah. Huh? Because God, he's coming back. The Lord is coming back. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. He's, he's coming back. He is coming back, and I want to be found so doing. I, I, I don't want to miss out on the opportunity to be saved uh, because I just I couldn't get past myself. Yeah. Saying save yourself. From this perverse generation. Uh, save yourself from this perverse generation. Amen. Then they that gladly received his word. Uh, then they that gladly receive the word. Were baptized. Um, see, because word. once you once you see that this is the path of salvation. Yes, the true path. The true path. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, you can't help but to be glad yes, that it's right. been introduced to you. That's mm-hmm. right. Amen. You can't help but to rejoice. Yes, huh? right. That this has been uh, presented unto you. That's right. You gladly receive it with thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank, you. thank you for taking time out to minister unto me. Because I was on a path of destruction. That's what the tes- testimony was. If it weren't for the church, I was on a path of destruction. Amen. Hallelujah. When you truly happy that you, that you saved, you glad. Amen. Who, who all been in a, in a dire need of help? Once you glad somebody came? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, when I broke down out there in Henderson during that winter storm about three years ago, ice here, ice there. The, tr- the van didn't want to start. I was so glad to see that tow truck come. Uh-huh. <laughs> Deliverance. <laughs> yeah. So glad. Yeah. People that, 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 that stranded out there, they glad to see help come. You should be thankful and glad that, that he, he brought forth help. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Finish it. Then they that gladly received the word. Read it, read it. Were baptized. They were they that gladly received the word. They were baptized. And the same day. And uh, the, the, the next day. And the same day. Now, uh, two days later. And the, the same, same day. day. A week later. And the, the same day. day. A same day. They were added to them. Huh? About Hey man, I, I believe I can't remember what saying they testified how they heard the gospel preach and they left, but they had to come on back. Hey Amen. But they understood the scripture. I, they said they remember that today is the acceptable time. Yeah. Huh, what if the Lord come back tomorrow? Huh? Huh, what if he come back three hours from now? Yeah. And I neglected such a form of salvation. Huh? So they had to turn the car around. Hallelujah. Turn the car around. So I, but I must be saved. Hallelujah. I need this sin. That was Mother Kathy. Turn it around. They, they gladly received his word. We're baptized. We're baptized. Thank you, Lord, for sinning a uh, gospel of reconciliation. Yeah. Sinning your sin. And that's when you truly understand the love of, the, of, of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua, the Messiah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And the same day. 
and that same day, it was added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they uh, Apostle Washington often said, we got to preach 3,000 messages just to get one soul. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Mm. See, the times are a lot wicked now. Yeah. Even man that seduces shall wax worse and worse. The times are a lot wickeder. A lot wicked, if you will. Don't laugh at me, Justine. More wicked. More wicked. <laughs> you know what I meant. These are times that we're in. Yeah. And that's why we, we went over there to Timothy. He said, this know also. Uh -huh. That in the last days, these days is dangerous um, because people harden their heart to the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There's something about the world that has a hold on them. Yeah. I got a spell on you. <laughs> and you're mine. That's how the world is. Yeah. Yes, sir. And they continue. Uh huh. Steadfast. And that's why you kept coming back, huh, Sister Madeline and, uh, and Brother Felix? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. you were steadfast. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. I, I had asked that their family member said, "What y'all think about them? Are they the same?" They said, "No, they." Amen. That gospel did that. Yeah, only the gospel can. Only the gospel can do that. Yeah. Amen, huh? Uh, uh, out there, you love God, didn't you? You, you? you thought you was worshiping Him, didn't you? Um, but you came and you learned how to truly worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen, Amen huh? So she came out all of her worthy clothes and, and all of that. And she made Felix her husband, not the boyfriend. And uh, <laughs> Brother Felix made her his wife, not the girlfriend. That gospel did that and cleaned them up, yes. making them meet for the master's use. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what the word do. It clean you up and it send you back out there in the world. And that's why they here. <laughs> Amen. Where it cleaned you up and sent you back out in the world to your kinfolk. Kin <laughs> hmm? Now you up here uh, as praying that they come on in too. Right. Just like we all do. Yeah. Like Hallelujah, huh? Because we understand this gospel is just not for us. It's for everyone. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. And they continue. And they continue. Steadfast. Steadfastly. In the apostles' doctrine. And the what? Apostles' doctrine. Now, after you hear it, you're going to have to continue to keep steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Yes. You're going to have to stay in it. Amen? Yeah. Uh, even if, if, if the apostle was not here, Apostle Washington is not here. Yeah. It's very important that you saints, y'all stay uh, uh, steadfast in that doctrine that you received of him. Yeah. Um, he said, until I, we, I, I come again. That you take time out to give yourself over to reading. You better open up this thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better open up this thing so that the children of God can continue to be made manifest. Hallelujah. And it's an exhortation. You do those things that's going to lift you up. That's going to keep you encouraged. That's why I thank y'all for that fellowship. Amen. Do those things that's going to exhort you. And that's a doctrine. Isn't that what you receive, that teaching here? Continue in it. Yes, sir. Steadfast. Steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Uh huh. And fellowship. You better stay, stay steadfast in it. Uh, Apostle Paul said that you that you meditate upon this thing. Uh -huh. He said you give yourself wholly unto it. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, this is what's gonna keep you. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. This is gonna keep it, and we don't need Deacon Davion to get up here and say that another have to teach you, <laughs> to reteach you. Amen, huh? Because you you got this in you. You know how to abstain from fornication. Amen. You understand that this, this is the will of God, huh? huh? Even to your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. Amen. You learn how to possess this vessel in sanctification and in honor. Amen. So continue steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. And in fellowship. And in fellowship. And in breaking ah, the come on now, keep fellowship, brothers and sisters. Amen. Uh, you all the ones, y'all get together too. Fellowship. Amen. Uh, you ain't got to be a young person thing. That's why I showed up. Amen. I, I went there because I, I, I want to see, I, I want to do my part to exhort. Fellowship is good for the body. Yes. Amen, huh? We all, we got fellowship with one another. Right. Apostle Paul said that, seeing that we are no longer strangers and foreigners, huh? But we have made fellow citizens with them that are saints and the household of God. Amen. So it's, it's very important y'all come together and strengthen one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do that spirit good. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And in fellowship. And in fellowship. And in breaking of bread. And in breaking of bread. And in prayer. And in prayer. And fear came upon every soul. Uh-huh. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Yes, sir. And all that believed were together. All they that believe. Hmm? Uh-huh. Hey, all they that you say you believe, huh? Well, come on now. Come together then. Amen. Uh -huh. 
-huh. You say you believe, come on, be part of this thing. Yes. Go all in. Uh -huh. Yes, sir, read it. And all that believe were together. And all they that believe were together. They had all things common. And they had all things common. And so their possessions and goods. And all that would believe, they had all things common. All things common. Amen. This is one body, but yet it's many members. Amen. Amen. We all should have all things in common. Amen. Yes, sir. Finish, evangelist. Amen. And all they believe were together. And, and all, all they that believe, they had, they, they had all things in common. And sold their possessions and, and goods. They, they sold their possessions. See, when this thing get in, in, in you, you all for the ministry. Yes, Lord. Amen. You, you all for the ministry. Yes. These people were so, so moved that they sold their possessions. Uh -huh. And mm. goods. And goods. And parted them to all men. And parted them to all men. They wanted, they wanted to contribute. Need. The Spirit wanted us to sell all our possessions. You know, that stuff that we, that we, that we once held. Our, our ways. Get rid of that stuff. Amen. Amen. Because you get rid of it, it becomes beneficial to everyone. Amen. Amen. Get rid of pride. It becomes beneficial to my brother and sister. Amen. Amen. Yes. May Yahweh bless you. <coughs> May Yahweh keep you. I pray that the words of Yahweh have ministered unto our soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Because truly without it, we are nothing, right, Sister Buttercup? Amen. He said without it, she is nothing. We are nothing without, uh, Teacher Pecan, he often say that, without Yahweh, without Yeshua, we are nothing. Amen. And that, that's a true statement. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask y'all to pray for me as I get back on the road, heading back out to Arlington. That I have a safe trip there. I ask you all to continue fellowship and strengthening one another. Yes, Pastor Washington do send his love. Amen. Of course, I believe he'll be back come Thursday. And uh, uh, as far as back in the States, back out here, I think the following week after. And I believe that we might have a church picnic during that weekend or the weekend after. The 23rd, so it may be the weekend after. Uh, but saying, let's stay strong. Let's, uh, uh, let's do everything that we need to do to strengthen one another. Be there for one another. Yes, Amen. Let's not give place to Satan. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, because like I said, we're all that we have here. And let's be there for one another. So at this time, let us all rise and receive Teacher Pecan by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh saints. Y'all may be seated. Thank you, Yahweh, for the words that come forth from our beloved prophet. Know that they are right on time. Hallelujah. And now it's time to go uh, further into our service, which is our announcements. Just about to Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Uh, the brothers and sisters dues are due today if we can give it to Sister Justine. And then also a reminder of the uh, youth night that we're having, which will be April 22nd, starting at 4 p.m. And then the church picnic will be that Sunday, which is April 23rd at 11 a.m. And if we can keep Prophet Washington in prayer as he, make his, as he makes his way home. Amen. And also Apostle Washington sends his love. Oh, and we will also be having another youth practice um, this Saturday at 2 p.m. at the church. Amen. Anything else? If not, for those who need prayer, come up. We'll anoint your head. We just pray for you. Let us all rise. Bow your heads. Lift your minds. Torture. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we come before you through your son's name, Yahshua the Messiah. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for the words that you continue to give us, Lord Yahweh. We ask that you help open our, our eyes, Father Yahweh, to see ourselves, to, to, to run this race, to please you at all times, Father. We ask that you to be with the saints here, the saints in Arlington, the saints in Mexico, Father Yahweh, Apostle Washington, Sister Janeiro, Lord Yahweh. We ask that you be with the prophet on his way home, Lord. Guide him and protect him, Father Yahweh. We give thanks unto Yahweh for his good and his mercy and good forever. And Israel now say that his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endures forever. Let them now who fear Yahweh say his mercy endures forever. And the church says, Amen. Amen. 